Hey guys, it's me, uh, Robert. Uh, the other videos, you guys asked for it, so this is one of the other things I was going to put together for you guys. This is a, a single head automatic press. So what I'm going to do throughout this build and all that is I'm going to actually walk through and actually take this. There's no pallets or anything on it, as you can see. Um, I just got it loaded in. As you can see, I've got it at a... Oh, it's hard to see the distance, but you can see it's not leveled even. So we're going to level it and all that. I'm going to plug it in. Um, just got it off the trailer earlier today. Um, and this is like a really old uh, aero multiple press. It used to be a automatic press, and you'd have mul multiple... Uh, these heads on the stations and so what I'm going to do is take you through the step to convert it and what we're going to do is I'm either going to put a vacuum fixture on this so that you can either do transfers or stickers one color stickers it's pretty much a one color press is what I'm going to make this and I might make it interchangeable too where you could do one color shirt press prints um, what I'm going to do now is just see uh, how are things looking on it? These are some of my clamps and my balancing things. It's got a switch so you can run it manually or you can run it on auto also. It's got a speed control thing. Um, might have to change the plug out. I don't know. Sorry for the shaky camera. I'm trying to hook it up. Uh, let me all right so we got it on and what it should do That's if you hold the squeegee down or the pedal down. So technically you can hit the pedal and it will do one cycle. I think if I yeah, hit the start button on the back. It will do the other cycles. I'm going to have to double check everything. Some of the buttons broke off in shipping. So what I'm going to have to do is go through and replace it. The buttons that broke off is like my speed control. Um, which that determines how fast the whole thing moves. I'm going to have to clean it up a bit too. But you've got micro registrations on it. And you've got your squeegee tensions on the system too it's an older unit um, but it's something where I told you guys I'd show you how to make one or convert one um, I got a really good deal on this it was super cheap so instead of me making an air one which I was gonna do um, I went with this with just a, a bunch of belts a bunch of pulleys and all that but it's uh, super cheap and literally if you look around um, hopefully once I build my other fixtures and all that, when it's all said and done, the total investment, I should have less than 500. I'm hoping way less than that even, but, um, that's a single color auto press. Um, just from, you gotta look around and find parts. Like I said, it's going to need cleaning. Um, as you can tell, it's about like a lot of the things in my shop here, pretty filthy and dirty needs cleaning, but we'll clean it up. Um, adjust everything out on it that needs to be adjusted um, as you can see it's got got some play in it and all that stuff needs some work but 
Um, this is one of the projects we're going to be working on in the coming weeks. Like I said, I'm going to slowly go through it. I'm either going to put a, like I said, a vacuum fixture or a pallet, or I might do both. Um, and like I said, it's got all the registrations on it, so you can fine-tune it. And it's just something to work on. Um, like I said, if you guys look, you can find stuff fairly cheap. Like I said, it's one color, but like I said, a lot of people in a smaller shop, let's say you, you're just starting out, whatever. A lot of people are buying the, the Japanese ones, like the four color press, which don't hold really good registration. And most of the time, a lot of your jobs are one and two color prints. So if you're starting out, um, and you, let's say you get a big order, the advantage of something like this is if you set it up as a one color thing, like a lot of the stuff I print is one color stuff. Um, like even like the shirt I've got on, just a one color print. Um, so if you're doing stuff like that, the advantage is, you're, is saving your arms and all that from squeegeeing. If you're doing stickers, you can go really quick with stickers. You can also use this for yard signs. Um, you could do multiple color yard signs. You just, with yard signs, you let the ink dry in between. But um, I used to, used to have one in my other videos. If you look back, I have a yard sign printer. Um, got rid of it. Um, didn't use it as much. Um, bought a few of them, used them, got rid of them. And so, like I said, this is pretty much the same brand. It's just, it doesn't have the vacuum fixture. It was designed to actually be a screen print press, an auto. And with these units, you can actually, they're all individual, so you can link them up that way. Again, like I said, we're going to go through it and build it up in the next coming videos. If you guys don't mind, hit the subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, like the video. Um, if you want to see more stuff or if you have any other questions, too, or if there's other stuff you want to see, let me know. Post it in the comments, and I'll try to get back with it. Try to answer you guys' questions and all that as much as I can. And if you guys don't mind, hit that like button. Peace out.